we at Great Millstone have the 100% truth. Shalom. First and foremost, giving all praises, honor, glory, respect, and blessings to Yahweh Bashan, Yahweh Shai, Bashan Racha Kwadash. Salutations to the Lord's elect on the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth in sincerity while patiently waiting for Yahweh Shai's return. And double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, which have taught us everything we know through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And look at the time, 144. They see what they want to see and know what they want to know, but don't see what they need to see and don't know what they need to know. Jamie Foxx, for example. He has so many talents. He can sing, he can act, he can write. There's no limits for this guy. And that's all people will see, including myself. But I was browsing through some shorts, and your man said all 66 books of the Bible like it was ABCs. That was a wake-up call for me. I'm a person that is very spiritual, very in tune with my Bible, at least I would like to think. But Jamie Foxx is a wake-up call. It's a wake-up call. You can't just look at a person and wonder why they're so blessed. You know, God rewards. And he don't boast his spiritual beliefs, but he damn sure said the 66 books like it was alphabets. So, you heard the guy in the video. You know, this guy was basically uplifting and glorifying Jamie Foxx as if he's Yahawashai. And um, I'm going to just say this, okay, uh, 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 these, a lot of these Hollywood stars, a lot of these rap stars, a lot of these basketball and football stars, they know about the truth, okay? Rather if they've been told by the Illuminati, rather if they've been, you know, secretly watching videos done by... You know, our apostles of, of Great Millstone. Okay, Jamie Foxx might be able to cite all 66 or how, whatever he said, you know, well, whatever you believe, he's how many books he cited out of the scriptures. And you said to you that was a wake up call. Okay, but. The Lord is not dealing with Jamie Foxx. Okay? And furthermore, you don't even know of all the, abomin the abominations that Jamie Foxx had to do in order to get these different movie positions. He probably had to drink blood, semen, piss, dookie. He probably had to eat dookie. You know, he probably had to uh, pop another guy. He probably had to get popped by another guy. You know, there's a lot of things that these Hollywood stars do behind closed curtains that they're not going to tell you about on TV or in these movies. So, uh, according to the Holy Scriptures, Jamie Foxx is an abomination. Okay, he sold his soul to the devil. He bowed down to Baal. The Lord is not dealing with him. Okay, furthermore, you know, a lot of you Jakes out there, you know, you act as if it's some big surprise when you hear about the truth coming from these, these uh different movie stars, these different rap artists, these different singers, these different NBA stars, you act like it's some big surprise. Oh my God, this guy, this, this guy is deep. Whoa, oh shit. Did he just say he was a Hebrew Israelite? Nigga, do you know how long 
our apostles been out there telling you people that you Hebrew Israelites even before YouTube uh, uh, came into existence on the internet okay this is nothing new you you so-called Negroes Latinos and Native Indians being Hebrew Israelites is nothing new but like the scriptures say let's let's uh I would like to go to Google real quick right let's get that let's get that in the book of Sharak I I don't know if it's I don't know necessarily know what chapter it is it might be the 36th chapter let's see when 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 a, a, a rich man speaketh he is heard but if a poor KJV that's all he type in so it's Sirach 13 okay Sirach chapter 13 verse 23 it says when a rich man speaketh every man holdeth his tongue and look what he saith right so you know a lot of these these movie stars, NBA stars, singers, or whatnot, whenever they come out and you know they they might confess that they're a Hebrew Israelite, you know, you know they might say some something like black people are the real Jews and you know that the twelve tribes of Judah and blase blase dilly dilly shally shally right, everybody will stop to listen you know they eyes to be glued to the fucking TV. It says they extol it to the clouds. But if the poor man speak, who are the poor men? That's talking about the ones of whom the Lord is dealing with. The ones of whom the Lord has given the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the Holy Scriptures to. Okay, the Scriptures speak about uh, blessed are the meek. Who are the, the, the meek are the lowly. The ones... Who, who are receiving just enough to make it by and by daily you know the Lord is dealing with those men the, 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 the men of great millstone and I say I say you know uh, uh, we of great millstone because you know if you if you follow the apostles of Great Millstone, if if you follow the the, the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, then technically you are a Great Millstone, okay? But um, you know, the 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 the, the brothers of Great Millstone, we would be the the poor man that go out on the highways and hedges and speak, you know, because we're not going out there with Stacy Adams on. We're not going out there with, 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 with a, a, a a fancy suit on, some some uh, glittering uh, khaki pants. We're not going out there with some shiny sneakers. You know, our heads are all lined up. We got a, a fade with some, you know, because we're not out there, you know, speaking and telling the public what they want to hear. They, they don't want to listen to us. But that's cool because this word is not for everybody. Furthermore, when we go out to speak, you know, somebody somebody always ha has to try to debate with us. Like, you know, we'll be out there, right? We'll tell this we'll we'll tell these people the so called white man starting with the so called elites, trickling down to the rest of the nation of of their nation of people, right? They they are the biblical Edomites and the devil and the wicked of the scriptures, right? Then you'll have some 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 big lip coon nigga listening right there in the cut, he'll come up. Whoa, whoa, whoa wait a minute, though. Wait a minute. Where in the, where in the scriptures does it say that that the white man is the devil? And then and then they'll try to argue with you. You bring up Leviticus eleven and seven. You hey yo, you know you're not you're not supposed to eat pork, right? I'm gonna keep eating my pork. What <laughs> the fuck you mean? I'm gonna keep eating my pork. And well, so it's like when a poor man speak, nobody really wants to listen. 
But unless somebody catch Drake out there on the highways and hedges, right, teaching, there'd be a large crowd of people gathering around him just to listen to what he has to say. But if the poor man, which the poor man would be the, 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 the true believers of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, if the poor men speak, ain't nobody trying to listen to us. They drive by. For the most part, people walk past us and act like we're invisible. You know, they might think we're crazy. They want to laugh. They want to mock us. Okay. So, hey, ultimately, you know, when they see the prophets out there teaching and they don't stop, they just end up condemning themselves. Because when a famine of the word hits, right, then they're going to be looking for that poor man. Then they're going to want to know where that poor man is at. And it's going to be too late. Because at that point, the doors of mercy is going to be shut. And spiritually, the Lord's elect is going to be an ark. The spiritual ark, which is this truth. Because the Lord, which is that strong tower, he's going to be our protection, our protection against the storm, against the the the, 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 uh, the, the spiritual storm, the, uh, the the spiritual flood, which is going to come in the form of martial law, famine, disease warfare, economy collapse, civil war, race wars, the beasts of the field, okay, the birds of the air, the newly created beasts, Okay, disease warfare, starvation. The Lord is going to shield his elect from all that. I mean, Lord's, if it, I always got to humble down and say, if it be the Lord's will that we be of the elect. Because we don't know who the elect is, but we know that there's a, a elect, uh, there, there are a, a elect few out there of whom the Lord is going to defend. So it says, but if a poor man speak, they say, what fellow is this? And, and that's exactly what they say in their minds when, when they buck up against the word. Right? Well, what fellow is this? And if he stumble, they will help to overthrow him. <laughs> right. They, they're all, you know, in some cases, some of these guys will either gather together. They'll team up against you. You might, you might find yourself trying to, you know, deal, deal with three demons who got a problem with the word of the Lord. So, okay. So now let, let's, uh, let's get there, right? Uh, poor, the poor man's words were despised Bible. The poor man's word was despised KJV is that 2nd Samuel no that's not in no 2nd Samuel okay here we go bam right here Ecclesiastes chapter 9 verse 16 it says then said I wisdom is better than strength Nevertheless, the poor man's wisdom is despised. What does the word despise mean? The word despise, when you look it up, goes back to the Latin word despiceri. Now, when you break down the word despiceri, which is the Latin word for despise, it is a compound word. You got, which is a, it, it, it's, it, it's, it's two words combined into one. That's what the word. That's what it means when, when, when we say compound word. It is a it is two words combined into one. So you got the word D and then you got the word spiceri. The word D means down or down from and then you got the word spiceri which means to see or to look. So the word this de spiceri literally means to look down on. So the word despise means to look down on. So these people, they look down on, on the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the scriptures that we are bringing out. But that's fine. 
because Proverbs, uh, what the first chapter is going to come to pass, where where it says they they uh that they, they they despise all my counsel, it says and his words are not heard. Right, all words are not heard. You know, only few, only a chosen few is going to hear the word of the Lord, because like Yahweh said, his sheep hear his voice and they know him and they follow him, and a stranger will they not follow. So if 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 you just argue, if you debate, if you just continue to walk, if you ignore the Lord's prophets, knowing what they're teaching, then oh, not only have you marked yourself, but you're not of the Lord's sheep. You got to be precise when you type these in. Proverbs chapter 1 verse 25. Okay, it says, But ye have said at not all my counsel and what none of my reproof. Right. Because the poor man's words are despised, his words are not heard. Therefore, when, when, when Jacob's trouble comes, I will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. Right. It says, when your fear cometh as desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish cometh upon you. And distress and anguish is coming. Okay? The Lord's going to make you people out here suffer. It says, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. Right. The scriptures say that, that the Lord's elect shall keep quiet in those times, for those, those days are evil. Okay. It says, Then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. Right. And that's when they're going to be seeking to and fro to to uh to look for the word of the Lord, right? It says, For that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. They hated knowledge, right? And the, the majority, the vast majority of our people, they hate the knowledge of the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the Holy Scriptures. Okay? And the reason why they hate the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the Holy Scriptures is because they want to continue to live their life in wickedness. So if we tell, if we tell them that they're not supposed to eat pork, they're going to fan their hand at you, they're going to keep on walking, and they're going to keep doing them. Even at that very same day, they might even go to McDonald's and, and, and uh, order a, a, a bacon cheeseburger, which you you should not be eating McDonald's, okay? But I'm just giving an example, you know. He might go to, because uh, a lot of our people still eat at McDonald's. You know, they'll order a, a bacon cheeseburger, you know. They don't care if the bacon uh, was, was made from pork, as long as there's bacon on that shit, you know. So, they would none of my counsel. They despised all my reproof. Why? Because the poor man's words are despised. Right? And a matter of fact, we see a Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes chapter 10 verse 6 It says this Folly is set in great dignity right And the rich Sit in low place Who are the rich? The Lord's elect What makes them rich? The knowledge, wisdom and understanding of the holy scriptures And a matter of fact In the book of Proverbs It tells you that wisdom is likened unto Hidden treasures So you have the knowledge the wisdom and and the understanding of the holy scriptures you're rich you have you have spiritual riches which you are building up in heaven like it tells you in Matthew the 6th chapter you know you're, you're 
you know, when 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 you when you do your videos, when you pay your tights, when you're being brotherly, when you're going out on the highways and hedges, you know, when you're helping brothers out, even though even though they may say they don't need they them they don't need it, they may they may say they don't need money, they may say you know they don't need help with, with bills, but you still help them out anyway. You know, you fast, you pray, you do your videos day in and day out daily. You know, you're building up spiritual riches. And everything you're doing in the scriptures is based on the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Everything that you're doing in this truth is based on the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the scriptures, which makes you rich. You fear in the Lord. You're maintaining your faith. You're enduring to the best of your ability. You know, you're going through hell, but you're dealing with, you're dealing with your hell that the Lord put upon you. You know, faithfully and according to the Holy Scriptures. You know, all this is what makes the Lord's elect rich. So, so the Lord's elect, the ones who follow the after the spirit of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, they have the truth. Okay. Furthermore, the Scriptures tell you that wisdom maketh a man's face to shine. So the rich, which is the elect, are in low places. So you're not going to find the truth from Kendrick Lamar. You're not going to find the truth from Kanye West. Okay? <laughs> you're not going to find the truth from Jamie Foxx. You're not going to find the truth from all these men who, who are famous, popular, rich, or wealthy. The truth is going to be found from, 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 from the men that the truth is going to be found in low places. Okay. The truth is going to be found amongst the meek. Now let's go to uh, Amos, right? Chapter 8, verse 11. And I'm going to read all the way down to 12. Okay, Amos, chapter 8, verse 11. It says, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, our power, that I will send a famine in the land, not a, not a, not a famine of bread nor a thirst for water but of hearing the words of the Lord and that's going to happen via when when Jacob's trouble is about to happen okay okay verse 12 it says and they shall wander from sea to sea and from the north even unto the east and they shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord and shall not find it so this is actually going to happen you know you people want to hear the truth from 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 who you want to hear the truth from but you don't want to hear the truth from from those who who are lowly you know you don't want to hear the truth from 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 the poor man. So, when the time comes, when Jacob's trouble come, when 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 the Lord bring that flood, then you're gonna be looking for the word of the Lord, and you're not gonna find those men out there anymore. You're gonna go on the internet. Oh my God, where the guys at? Wait, wait, wait. wait I, I, I I walked past them one day. One of them said. Uh, a GMS, a great millstone. Let me type that in on, on YouTube. You ain't gonna find YouTube. YouTube is gonna be down. The internet is gonna be down in those days. <laughs> That's why you gotta get this word while you still can. Okay. Okay, so uh, again, you know, we have the 100% truth. You're not going to get the truth from no Jamie Foxx. 
You're not going to get the truth from Kanye West. You're not going to get the truth from Kendrick Lamar. The truth is going to be found amongst the men who are of great millstone. With that, I'm going to say Shalom is on to the next one.